In 2006, this phone was one of Nokia Mobile's best sellers. It was the successor of the Nokia N70 and doubled down on the multimedia aspects while still maintaining a relatively good price. It is still considered one of the best selling N-series devices of all time. This is the Nokia N73. Of course, this is definitely not the original box that it came with, and this is a refurbished unit that was bought off eBay. So let's talk about all of its quirks and features, what made it special for its time and its main weaknesses. And we shall start with the quirks. Now, one of the things I really liked about the N73 was its design. The whole phone was made out of plastic, but it was nice and compact. On the front, you had a 2.4 inch QVGA display. Over the display, you had a VGA camera for video calls and the Nokia N73 logo, which looks quite nice. You also had to use a joystick to navigate through the menus. So the candy bar formats keys were actually nice and clicky with the music edition having a music key instead of the navigation key here. On the right, you had the volume rocker keys, the multimedia key and the two stage camera shutter key. On the left, you had the infrared port and the lanyard hole. The top housed the power key and one of the two dual speakers. On the bottom, you had the mini SD slot, which was the typical format for SD cards back in the day, which is much bigger than the micro SDs that we currently use. And the pop port, which helped you connect the phone to a PC, as well as the second loudspeaker and Nokia's pinhole charging port. The back housed the camera cover and you could slide it open to reveal the camera, which is a 3.2 megapixel Carl Zeiss optics camera capable of capturing really awesome pictures for its time and a single LED flash to its right. The back was also naturally removable, so you could press this button, slide it out to reveal the battery, which had a capacity of 1100 milliamps. I really miss the sliders that were protecting the cameras back in the day. They were quite cool and gave you a way to quickly access the camera. In terms of storage, the N73 came with a very generous 42 megabytes of internal memory, which you could thankfully expand thanks to the mini SD slot. I really like how nice and compact the N73 was for its time, which made it easy to slip in the pocket and quite cool. As for the operating system, the N73 is running on Symbian 9.1 S60 3rd edition. And back then you couldn't find anything better than Symbian, which was very feature packed, powerful and quite energy efficient. And funny enough, Symbian also had the best web browser on a phone. You could even sideload third party applications on it and you also had access to an office suite. So you had quick office, a converter and even Adobe PDF. And Symbian's music player and galleries were both highlights of the experience and quite capable. It also had the ability to change and create your own profiles, select from a multiple of different themes or even sideload your own, a file manager that gave you access to all your files as well as the files on your memory card and many more useful functions. Symbian was honestly just fantastic back then, even if it wasn't the most snappy experience on the N73 in particular. And Symbian's very capable multimedia aspects are what made the N73 such a cool device to own. Now what were the issues of the N73 that were relevant for its time? On the standard edition you didn't get a memory card included with the package, which meant that you definitely needed to buy one in order to utilize any of the multimedia features. The joystick was considered a bit slippery, so if you're trying to navigate quickly, your finger might slide right off. The phone did not support Wi-Fi, even though it was starting to become a very standardized feature back then, which meant that you needed to rely on your network provider for any activity that relied on the internet. And finally, the dual speakers weren't considered that great. They were neither too loud or offered excellent audio quality. The camera's excellent image quality back then was definitely one of the key highlights of owning the N73. To conclude, the N73 was a fantastic example in how to build a phone that is powerful but not too expensive. It had an awesome camera, a nice design and a software experience that made it easy to recommend to most people on a budget. An affordable flagship in some ways, which is why it also had tremendous success. Maybe the brand these days can actually learn a thing or two by looking at such a device. 
Anyway, did you own the N73? What did you think of it? Did you own the later version, which was the N73 Music Edition? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Share your thoughts about it in the comments down below. That's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying my content. And I shall see you in the next one.